My brother and I were Jewish, so there were two things that stood out vividly since we were Jewish. One was in March when we crossed over into Germany. Uh, our division chaplain, one of our division chaplains, was former Rabbi Eli Bonin from Providence, Rhode Island. And of course, we became quite close with him, especially overseas. We had a lot of contact with him. So in March, he noticed, looking at his Jewish calendar, that Passover was early that year. So he contacted General Collins and told him that this was right out after we had captured Würzburg, that the Passover was early and it would be great if somehow they could arrange, make arrangements for a Seder. And General Collins liked the idea. So he made arrangements for trucks to go to France, bring in French wine, chickens. So here we got notice that we were going to have a Passover Seder right there, close by. So at the time, my brother and I remembered that it was a school building. We thought it was a school building. More recent years, I've read stories where one story said it was a city hall building. Mm -hmm. Another story said it was a German army headquarters building. So take your pick. <laughs> I just remember it was a building. <laughs> so here we had this Seder. They invited, they sent orders to units all around. We had about close to 1,500 soldiers mm -hmm. in attendance. And of course, the best part was they had German civilians prepare the food. They served us. Good. They cleaned up everything. <laughs> so that was a vivid memory.